I'm going to say it one more time just to be sure. Power up. We all right, all right. What's going on, everybody? Little Rock, Arkansas, surrounding areas. Give yourselves a hand for being here. Guys, I'm excited because this training is going to help you take things to the next level. Anybody ready to go to the next level? Yeah. Shout out to all of the newly promoted titles we had came in on the last volume month, the 90 day run. Give a clan clap for everybody. All right, repeat after me. And I want y'all to say it with power and conviction. Say, it's possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. You're right. Now, I want to talk to you guys about possibility, okay? We're going to be talking about a lot of things. I'm your host, by the way, if y'all don't know who I am. I'm Simeon Brown, hosting today's training all the way from South Haven, Mississippi. If you don't know what that is, it's right outside of Memphis, right? So guys, it's possible. Whatever kind of lifestyle that you want, it's possible. What kind of income you want to make, it's possible. What type of generational wealth that you want to leave for your family, it's what? Possible. Y'all gonna, he gonna be one of them, them people. <laughs> Y'all know those speakers get up there, they want you to finish their whole sentence. They're like, I went to the what? <laughs> and I bought a who? I ain't gonna be one of those, I promise you, I promise, I promise. But it's possible, right? But guess what? In order for those things to be possible, guess what? The, the creation, the power is in your hands. We're gonna talk about some things today that's gonna help you shift your business, that's gonna help you shift your brand, and it's gonna also help you shift your mindset. How'd that sound? Powerful. Anybody know how powerful your mindset is? Yeah. Most powerful. Mm, Y'all don't even know. So I'm going to find out today. So we're going to start this thing off. Before we get into the first trainer, I want to cover a few things. I want to kind of set the tone. Y'all, Do y'all mind? Yes, we're going to share a couple of things, right? I want to share with y'all three words that changed everything for me. Anybody want to take a guess what those three words are? United Wealth Educators. Just do it. Mindset. Mindset. Hey. Okay, okay. Y'all coming out. So I'm going to share three words that changed everything in business for me. Did y'all know TK like to paint? That's where I got this art even from. That's how he focused his time. Three words, and it's going to help y'all too. And we're going to explain. Okay? So I want you to think about right now. Think about everything that you want to have. Okay, I think, want you to think about everything that you want your children to have, maybe your grandchildren to have, right? Think about it. What type of lifestyle do you want to have? What type of cars do you want to drive? What kind of house do you want? What, kind of, what you want your bank account to look like? Right, what kind of person, how do, you want to, how do you want to impact the world? All of that, right? I want you to think about that right now. And I'm about to show you these, how these three things help transform things for me. Now, don't judge my hand right. My mama said I should have been a doctor. So don't judge my hand right now. All right? all right, so the first one is B. Y'all like, what? Bro, how did it help you change your life? You see, when I understood this, everything else fell in place. You see, what I learned this concept is be, do, and have. Once I learned what that really meant, and I learned how to apply it within my life and everything that I did, everything changed for me. See, be, it's your being, right? The next one is, I just said it, which is what? Do. do. And the last one is what? Have. Okay. Be, do, have. Being is the most important one. So I want you to think about yourself, right? It's the most important one. Now, the reason why that is because this is who we are by nature. Are we human doers? Are we human havers? Are we human wanters? We're human what? Beings. So 
this is your input to whatever output that you want in life. It starts with you first. It starts with the being. B. Now, I'm going to take it a step further. All of these right here work together, right? In order to, did you know that every single person in here right now, I learned this from one of my mentors, every single person sitting in these seats, hearing my, my voice, did y'all know that right now you are working on 100% of what you are capable of? of your abilities. You are right now, you are operating off of 100% of your abilities. Right now, every single person, it doesn't matter what you do. You're operating off of that. Now, I didn't say you were operating on 100% of your potential. You're operating on 100% of your abilities. Whatever you have right now is because of what 100% of your abilities allowed you to have. Y'all get what I'm saying? So in order to have more, you have to do what? More. You have to be more, right? So I say that with this. Are you growing every single day? Are you reading every single day? Are you learning something different every single day, right? Are you becoming, are you being that word being? I told you it's the most powerful one. Are you becoming more? Are you being more? Now, once you be, come, be, leave, all of that, right? Once you master be, then you'll be able to do. It's a lot of people that try to do something that they haven't became. It correlates together, right? You have to master yourself, or master the being first. Master the person that you want to become. Work hard at it every single day, no matter what it is. So that way you can do the things that you want to do. And after you do the things that you want to do, that's going to put you in a position to what? Have what you want to have. Now, anybody ever heard of the law of polarity? It's two sides to everything, right? Left and up and love and east and west. Y'all y'all know it today. Y'all like, keep going, bro. I like this. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> the baby like, yeah, yeah. I hope that was fun. Now, the law of polar polarity, right? I want y'all to really pay attention to this. It states that if you can be, then you can do. And if you can do, you can have, correct? Watch this. What if you don't be? What happens? What if you don't be, right? What if you don't become more? What if you don't believe, right? What if you everything you put that don't in front of there? If you don't be law of polarity, if you don't be, then you can't do. Anybody else want to take a stab at the last one? If you don't be, you can't do, then you won't have. Simple as possible. Anybody need me to break that down any further? So, which side of the spectrum are we going to operate off of? The B do have. We're going to eliminate that word don't, can't, and won't from our vocabulary. And I want y'all to start that today. Because whatever it is that you want to become, you can become. Whatever it is that you can do, you can become that person to do it. And whatever it is that you want to have, you can become that person to do it so you can have what you want to have. A lot of y'all in deep thought right now. Y'all like, man. <laughs> like, man, I never thought about it like that. He right. So what happens when you try to jump course? Fail. Failure happens, right? Disappointment, frustration, right? 
And what I mean by jumping course is a lot of people out here trying to have without doing. They want to have it all, but they haven't did what it takes to have it. And they haven't did what it takes to have it because they're not what? They're not who they're supposed to do it. Make sense? So which one is the most important one? B. B, right? That's the most important one. Become being human beings, right? We are meant to be whatever it is, right? You want to be successful? You got to hang around who? Successful people. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people, they say if you hang around five millionaires, now I'm going to blow y'all mind with this one. Everybody always say, if you hang around five millionaires, you're going to be the sixth one. That's true in a sense, right? But what has to occur first? You see, what happened to me was I got around people who had more, who had what I wanted. And just because I was around, I didn't automatically get what they had or what I wanted. I had to, they helped me become, they helped me become the person that I was meant to be. So I can do what I had to do so I can have what I was supposed to have. So a lot of people, they just say, well, put me in a room full of millionaires. I'm going to walk out with 12 million. How? How, sway? What room you going in? <laughs> Is it under surveillance? <laughs> Some of y'all can catch that later. <laughs> so now y'all got a better understanding of be, do, and have, right? 